Make sure to disconnect the power and to remove the battery before changing an LCD panel. Remove six screw covers from the bezel. Remove six bezel screws. Please note that the two bottom screws are longer than the rest. Go ahead and remove the bezel. Start from one side and move through the top to the other side. This bezel has two hinge covers on the bottom, which you can easily snap out if you open the screen wide and use a pick or a small screwdriver like so. Now we can remove the tiny screws holding the LCD panel in. There are a total of 10 screws on this model. Gently put the screen on the keyboard and lift the video connector tape. Then disconnect the video connector. Set the video cable aside. Discard the old panel. Place a cloth or a paper towel on the keyboard if the replacement screen does not have any protective film on it. Carefully put the new panel on the keyboard and reconnect the video cable. Make sure to line up the connectors perfectly and don't apply too much force. Video connectors are extremely fragile. Secure the connection with tape. This is an LED backlit screen. It does not use an inverter. Your screen might have an extra connector, which has to be plugged in. LED and CCFL screens are not interchangeable. Lift the screen, minding the protective film tabs, and snap it into the frame. Remove the protective film. Secure the LCD panel with 10 tiny screws. Then replace the bezel. To get a proper fit, open the screen wide and snap in the hinge covers first. Then move along the sides to the top. Make sure the bottom edge is snapped in as well. Replace the bezel screws. Two longer ones go on the bottom. Replace the rubber screw covers. Replace the battery and reconnect to power. At this point, you can test out the new screen by booting the laptop up. Once the startup graphics appear, you will know that the screen has been properly installed and you're done.